All right. All right. Senator, I want to talk about the elections, but I got to bring up some sad news first, because I know that you were a close friend of Dr. Barry Flinchbaugh. Um, Our condolences to you. And as we said yesterday afternoon to the Flinchbaugh family, K-State family, uh, just a big loss, not just for Kansas, but for the country. Absolutely. Uh, Dr. Flinchbaugh was a great friend. Uh, I met him 30 plus years ago when I called him on the phone and to ask him about a Kansas tax policy issue. Uh, it was, uh, and it was a just, there's, I said this in my statement, there's probably nobody that outside my family that I enjoy spending time with more so than Barry Flinchbaugh. Just yeah. a delightful person, interesting, funny, witty. I also had a practice of, of joining his class unannounced. So I would put on a K-State sweatshirt, put on a yeah. K-State cap, uh, wear my purple, and show up in his class of, of ag policy. And uh, at the opportune time, at least what I thought was an opportune time, try to interrupt his class. There's usually about 250 students in that class. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the, the best one was he was uh, critiquing his students, uh, complaining a bit about their performance on their test, uh, to which my response was, but, Professor, if we had a great teacher, we'd have done a lot better. <laughs> and uh, it just went, uh, I don't know whether it went up or down from there, but it was, it was that kind of a relationship. But, I mean, while that's, that, that makes us smile, uh, his, his straightforwardness, his telling the yep. truth as he saw it, uh, not sugar-coated, not partisan, not picking uh, sides in a political battle, but just telling us about what the consequences are of decisions we make in Washington, D.C., and what it means to farmers, what it meant to ranchers, what it meant to the agricultural economy. And I also would say that so many of my staff uh, are Barry Flinchbaugh protégés, are his students. Yeah. Uh, he was uh, probably our greatest uh, recommender and provider of interns in our office, and uh, there is a real legacy, not just in, in the Moran world, but in, uh, the, in, in agriculture with people who have, uh, in a sense, sat at the foot of Barry Flinchbaugh and learned from him not only about agriculture and economics, but about life and character and the things that really matter. Well, yeah, his enthusiasm for teaching, Senator, it was, I, I mean, he viewed, he viewed his job as an opportunity and a challenge to... Uh, to educate and and it 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 was inspiring i had many opportunities to sit and talk with with uh, barry and it, i never came away disappointed from a conversation with dr barry flinchbaugh not at all i just had an email from the dean uh indicating that he that he barry flinchbaugh had told the dean that he wanted to die teaching his students wanted to be in the classroom uh, and, uh, the point was that he was in the classroom last Wednesday yeah. and, uh, I love that. He always told me he was going to keep teaching as long as he felt as if he was doing his job well. And the thing, while I, while I was indicating he was critiquing his students for their performance on a quiz or a test, what he always told me was that if his students did poorly on an exam, it was because he wasn't teaching them correctly. He was making right. the mistake. And right. I, I saw it where he loved his kids, where he cared about them. He helped, in a sense, raise them. And then when I was in his classroom and just knowing many of his former students, uh, the, the respect he had for his students yep. was reciprocated by the respect they had for him now in his late 70s. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's too bad. It's nice of you to remember him on AgriTalk. I, I appreciate that greatly. And all of us are of concerned course. about his wife, Kathy, and family. and. Yeah. And the and the egg community.